All right, you guys, so let's check out how to make this iridescent glass object here in Blender. All right, so I'm gonna use this object as a reference. And first I'm gonna set up the renderer. I'm gonna switch the EV to cycles, CPU to GPU. And I'm gonna decrease the max sampling, for example, to 100. And I'm also gonna set up the world. So I'm gonna go here, switch it to shader editor, switch up the object to world. And I'm gonna zoom in. Let's select the background, press Ctrl T. Now this shortcut works if you have the Node Wrangler activated. If you don't have it, you can go here to the edit. Let's go to preferences. Let's go to add-ons. And you can search here for Node Wrangler. Make sure to check it. And you can click on the background, press Ctrl T, and the nodes will appear. Let's go click on open. And I'm going to select an HDRI. I'm also going to leave a link in the description. Click on open image. And from here, I'm going to split the viewports in two. I'm going to go and activate here the render. So let's go and create that glass. Now I'm going to go here to the world, switch it to object. Let's go and click on the new. And here what we're going to, need to do is go here to the principled. And first I'm going to go to the roughness and I'm going to decrease it to 250. And then I'm going to open up the transmission, increase the weight all the way up. Now here, because I have Blender 4.4, my settings are different here. So in this newer version, you're going to need to go to the coat increase the weight all the way. Now I'm gonna press Shift plus A, search for bump, enter. We're gonna connect the normal to base color. And check this out, we got these really cool colors going on. And for example, I'm gonna search for a brightness, enter, place it here. And I'm gonna increase the brightness a little bit more. And I'm gonna increase the contrast as well. I'm gonna to go to the brightness, add more, it's gonna open up the colors. So here you can choose the settings you like. And about least you also can add a hue saturation, place it here, and then here you can switch up the colors. But in my situation, it's pretty good at 0, 05. You also got the value and switch those. You also can add more contrast. Let's go to the renderer, scroll down, open up the color management, scroll down. And here we can go here to the look. I'm also gonna choose the high contrast. So that's gonna make it look more better. You can press Shift plus A and add a camera. Now let's go to the camera. I'm gonna increase the focal length. I'm gonna go with 120. Now let's go to the constraints and we're gonna add track two. And I'm gonna select the pick whip and pick whip it to this object here. Now let's go and activate here the camera mode, click on it. And I'm gonna bring this back. And let's go and place the camera wherever it's nice. And I'm gonna bring it up and take a look at that. And it's gonna look something like this. And that's how you make this iridescent glass effect here in Blender. Thanks for watching.